Okay, so here's my video, my uh, intro and shop tour. Um, you have to excuse the breakout on my face. I have a disease called sarcoidosis. It's, uh, I think they classify it as an autoimmune disease. Um, it's in my nervous system. and They think it's in my brain, so it causes me problems and I took a round of medication and it broke me out. So I'm trying to get that under control. Uh, woodworking I've done since high school, since I took shop in high school. Um, I've always I've always liked it and back then I, I pretty much sucked at it because I didn't have any good tools or anything. <laughs> but uh, I have an uncle that's pretty much a master woodworker. Um, he does a lot of a lot of stuff and he's he's pretty good except for the time I was about six years old and out in the shop with him and he got his hand caught the table saw. But other than that I don't think he's had any problems. Uh, so this is just the intro video. I got a few projects lined up I'm going to um, film when I uh, build them and I'm going to uh, take the camera off the tripod here and give a give a shop tour. Uh, one thing about the shop, uh, built it and let's see, we bought the house 2006, I think I built it 2007 maybe. Um, it was the first project I did, so it's, it's you can tell it's amateur work, but uh, I learned a lot while I was constructing it and I built an addition onto the house and you can tell tell the difference between the two. You can tell I knew what I was doing, except for the drywall on the inside, which was my first time doing drywall, and it, it sucks with the mud and everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the shop used to be in total disarray because everything, it, it was really cluttered and my mom come over and she's an expert at organization and everything and uh, I owe a lot to her for helping me out. We got it we got it pretty much squared away. There's a couple things I still need to need to organize and it's gonna take uh, a couple projects I'm gonna do to to organize and get that and work in order but uh, yeah so I'm gonna take it off and give you a tour of the shop. Okay, starting at the front door. Uh, this front door, I pretty much built the shop by myself. Uh, let's see, I had help from a good friend of mine. We built the roof rafters out of two by fours, which was a mistake. Should have been two by sixes, but I didn't know what I was doing. And we hammered them together with these uh, these plates, which I had seen on other construction projects. I thought that's what you had to have for rafters. And I think it's 13 rafters, and it took us two days to hammer all those <laughs> all those plates in place, and then. I had a good friend come and help me, help me lift them up and put them, put them on there and put the tin on the roof. And apart from that, he helped me with the electrical work, and I did everything else. So front door, um, I just, I just bought this uh, diamond grate. I got a lot of money invested in upgrading my shop here lately, and I do not want any thievery. I have a Doberman Pinscher sitting outside ready to attack. Um, this is my porch I recently built and that's Toph Bay Fong named after a character on Avatar The Last Airbender and she does deter she's clumsy and goofy but she does deter people from entering my backyard. Uh, this little this little thing is handy for locking up. I know it's not the best deadbolt as far as uh, securing everything. You need to have a 
key on both sides, but uh, it works. Uh, just got me a pencil sharpener. Do you believe Walmart does not have these anymore? They only have electric. So, Amazon. This is my, uh, want to be the cordage wall. It's, it's got extension cords. I got some ropes and some wires and stuff that I'm going to put up there as soon as I get zip ties on them. Uh, this right here is all my hand tools, which are over here now. We'll get to those. All my hand tools and paint and stains and everything was piled on this shelf and it was a mess. Uh, one of the problems I got coming up is building a little cabinet to store and organize all the paints and stains. So I do not like that shelf and it'll probably uh, be put outside for lumber storage. This was a, a trick I got out of the book to store uh, spray paints and stuff. It, it's a shoe, shoe hanger thing you put in the closet. It works pretty good. Uh, I used to put all my nails and screws and everything in these uh, bins. Um, when I built this, I had gaps where going into the soffit, and squirrels would come in here. I stored, I stored my bird food in here. And squirrels would come in and knock this stuff off and I'd have to pick up all the screws off the floor and I vowed I would shoot every squirrel or shoot a squirrel for every screw and nail I had to pick up and I've killed about 15 this year and I'm nowhere near my quota so the war continues but uh, recently I've sealed up the shop using this trick and uh, expanding foam uh, I need to shoot some, just go ahead and seal that up. I did the other side, and I kind of forgot to do this side to this video, but um, I installed an air conditioner and it's already so much nicer to work out here. This is my uh, hardware organizer now, and it's got everything I pretty much pretty much use one and a quarter inch screws I use them all the time uh, you can also use drywall screws I had a bunch of that left over so that's works good uh, this is the miter saw uh, I think my wife got me this stand for it I bought the I bought the miter saw when I built the shop and it's come in handy the stand is invaluable I love it somebody bought it for me for Christmas or something but it's awesome uh, and every time I use a tool or anything I hook my shop back up to it and it cuts down on the dust because that's that's a big problem out here uh, this is the Cadillac I just recently got this table saw I used to have a table saw a Ryobi contractor saw uh, the workbench I'll get to it in a minute everything used to be stationary and the table saw was right in the middle of the floor and it, it, it was a mess. This is on casters. I can move it out of the way and pull it out when I need to use it. That's my makeshift outfeed table, which is obsolete now because I built a... Uh, and my shop bag in the way. But there's a outfeed table I made that attaches to either the back edge or the side of the table saw. This shelf, this is a uh, storage, but this shelf was slammed full of wood and I've got a, a lumber storage system outside under the uh, lean-to I built on the side of the shop. Uh, the reason why it's cluttered right now is because of the project I did. I had to piece together a bunch of plywood to make a panel and I just brought a bunch of it in to make sure I had enough. So I, tomorrow I will get all that crap out of here. Uh, this is this is clutter. I don't like looking at it. It should be in storage, but I may move it. So, uh, this is the cleaning area. I hang my broom, a uh, magnet to pick metal stuff up, uh, industrial dustpan, which is awesome. Got that from Santa Claus, or somebody bought it for me. Got it for Christmas. Uh, this wall used to be solid, and I had a small AC unit which barely cooled this place off. It, like I said, this place was not sealed up worth a damn. Uh, sorry for the profanity, I'm working on that. But uh, I, cut, I cut the wall out, installed doors, and it's a lot better. I can 
move stuff in and out of the shop through this door so it's good uh like i say i've upgraded the shop a lot here lately this is the last trip to home depot um, i'm through upgrading i've got everything i need except for one one piece of equipment a planer which is i don't really need it's 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 more of a luxury than a necessity for right now so i'm going to wait and pay my home depot card off before i acquire it but this that's what i had and i think i could fill one lawnmower tire up before i had to come in here and plug it up and refill it so this this and i got a stapler to do do swings make it easier uh 50 foot cord so it reached my lawnmower because i've been airing up lawnmower tires for the past 10 years every time i cut grass and i got a uh, paint gun kit which is going to give me some super duper finishing all right this is the this is the tool wall um it used to be higher this cubby hole system i think i got from steve ramsey uh woodworking for mere mortals I think I got the idea from him, but I built cubby holes for all my hand tools and I routed the names of them and the way I got the got it to pop out like that, I used a dark dark stain and stained the uh, where I routed the names and then sanded the whole thing and it doesn't sand where you routed so it made that stays dark and everything gets light. So that turned out pretty good. But uh, the shelf with my hand planes it's sagging. I'm gonna uh, get a piece of wood or a piece of metal and something and put on the underside of that to uh, make it so it doesn't sag. I had to move the tool belt down, I mean the tool board down. Um, I've got outlines where all the tool go, tools go. I haven't finished it up but uh, one day when I don't have anything to do I'm going to take, take it off and route, you know, do the same thing with that. I'm going to route the outlines in. Um, I had mag magnet strips across the bottom here and I had all my screwdrivers and stuff which is in this bucket it worked fine uh, it was easy to get to the screwdrivers and just grab them off the magnetic strip and everything but I had so much so much clutter and junk and uh, pliers and everything hanging off the magnetic strip that it, it just it was too much so I think I'm gonna get a small small strip of wood and drill holes and put screwdrivers in that uh the toolbox is just it's pretty pretty cluttered i got uh pens pens and pencils and stuff in this drawer carbon knives in this one and uh this is just generic uh, stuff just all kinds of stuff all in there uh, sharpening stuff nothing marking and measuring equipment tape measures uh different kinds of stuff this is the drill uh bandsaw uh i just recently built last night i put this together and i goofed on my diagram for some reason i allowed this this two by four stretcher across the top for some reason i i took off the for the length of two of those so I took off seven inches so my bandsaw is actually sitting too low but I'm going to make a drawer or something to go on top of that pedestal and under the bandsaw in between the two and it'll be seven inches so it, it, it'll it's a quick fix no problem I got to put pa I got panels uh, on the table I'm gonna panel up the side put a door on the front and there's a uh, there's a groove cut right there for a shelf and I'm going to put in there. This is the drill press. I bought this stand and wound up mounting it on casters. That's the key. If you have a small area for, uh, for a shop or anything, casters. That, that is key. Um, this was one of the first uh, shop tools I bought at uh, Marvin's I think 50 bucks years I think it was 2005 I bought this and it serves its purpose I need a bigger one you know with a bigger uh, bigger gap between the table and the uh, 
the drill bit, but that's a luxury item that I don't really care about buying right now. Um, I got drill bits and Forstner bits and stuff. This is a bunch of drill bits. And everything. I'm going to build a little cabinet thing to organize all that. That's one of my upcoming projects. Uh, tape and wire, uh, table saw blades, which should be over there with the table saw. I will get to that. This is a, a cut and torch thing that I just had sticking up there. I used to have, uh, I don't know what I did with them, but it's, it's these little plastic capsules you can mount on the strip that I had nails and stuff in, and you could squeeze the top and drop a few nails out which was fine to begin with but I like the drawer system over there better. This is uh, a cheap Ryobi router. I have a nice Craftsman hand router up there which I use for freehanding but as far as the router table this it's a Ryobi table and the problem is <clears throat> the set screws to level the table or the plate here with the table uh, stripped out. Now I could re-tap them and put some more in there which I haven't I don't have a tap set so uh, I'll get to that one day but for right now I got some wood stacked up there and got it uh, shimmed up and got got the plate level and this you don't need this this router table to do router work but it does it does make everything a lot easier um, this is on a cart that has casters that do not lock but I'm going to build a uh, router table and uh, it'll have casters that lock and I can move in place right now when I have to do a lot of work on the router table I pretty much uh, pull this up to my workbench and use clamps to bolt it to my bench and it doesn't move this is the little desk I built here Lately, I got uh, this is a netbook my wife had bought me years ago, and now that we got tablets, you know, we don't use netbook anything. So I said, Well, I'll put this out in the shop and I can pull up uh, woodworking patterns or videos or whatever. Um, so, and I put a little lip on it, it's got it opens up, but I put a lip on it so dust sawdust wouldn't get on the inside of it. It's, it's been working pretty good. These uh, old computer speakers that we had and I mounted them. Everything's mounted so it won't come off so that's that's pretty handy. Uh, filing system. This was a filing cabinet picked up by my neighbor which was uh, pretty cool but the bottom drawer doesn't close real good and the handle I think my little girl broke the handle off so that's that, but it, it I've, I've got stuff like uh, miter gauges and stuff put in there and tools and everything. I picked up this one. Another fun, another problem with the bottom one is hanging files. It was too big for hanging files, so I wound up picking up another one to put hanging files in. So Dawn, sorry, good, good try. Uh, it will get used, but wouldn't work. Uh, this was storage for a bunch of boxes that tools come in and everything that we just We we put it up there to get those boxes out of the way. I don't know why I hang on to the boxes. I never use them, but I don't know uh, This is the AC unit. I got it's supposed to cool 450 Square feet the shop is 20 by 20 coffee maker small fridge which was, which serves its purpose and everything but uh, I'm fixing to run water down to the shop and have a sink on the outside so I can clean paint brushes without having to walk up to the water hose. But uh, when I do that, a fridge with an ice maker would be a whole lot more feasible. This is just uh, liquor and uh, tobacco and my paper towel stand and I'm out of paper towels but uh, I got some more uh, pat different patterns. Uh, my harmonica holder because now that the shop's cooled I can I can keep a guitar down here and it, I ain't got to worry about the, uh, coming apart because of the heat melting the glue. Power box, deep freeze, that's, that's pretty much it. The main thing is this workbench, which I built right when I built the shop. The top is uh, it's a little overboard. You don't really need something like this, but it's two by fours put together. And I didn't, I should have run it through, run them through the table saw to get them flat, but, uh, I didn't. I, I used a hand plane and planed the whole 
the whole thing. Uh, the the red marks is for uh, I got stuff mounted on the side. This is one of those magnetic strips, and when I use a jigsaw or something like this, I got these red marks because I I'll have a board laying across here, and I won't be able to see the where the strip is. But the red marks will tell me where everything's at. So that's pretty good. That was a pretty good idea on my part. Uh, this I'm always opening paint and everything, so I put I got about 20 of these. They tried to give me one tonight, and I said no, keep it. But uh, that's that. This is my brush. I clean my my workbench off, and table saw gets cleaned off every night because if you do not get your sawdust off your table saw, rust will set in. But the main thing was this bench when the shop was built was stationary up against that wall, and. This is the only light source that I have, these two fluorescent lights, and it gets kind of, it was, it, it wasn't good over there, so I wound up <coughs> cutting some length off and putting casters on, and it's, and I mean, that's, it moves like it's on butter, and you can just, and that lock, locks it in place, so that was a good idea. Um, for, as far as budget goes, you know, I got some things that I splurged on, like the table saw and everything, but uh, the band saw, you don't really need one of those. You can make do with a uh, with a jigsaw. You can, you don't need to buy sanders. You can hand sand. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with, you know, cheap tools. The main thing about woodworking is when you, when you start off, you, you might mess up projects and everything hell I, I still mess up projects but uh every project i do I, I, i'm better at it than the last one so the more i do the better i get so so that's the that's the shop tour so that was the uh shop tour uh it's not much, but it sure does serve its purpose. Um, I got some projects lined up. I, the, the medicine I <laughs> I just come off of and took a round of it. It made me I can't stand clutter now. So I play guitar. I got a couple amps and uh, a drum machine and a eight multi-track recorder. It, anyways, it's, it's it's a mess in there. And I got an idea to make a little small like a bookshelf type type thing on casters and it's going to have the amps on it it's going to have you know stuff some of the uh, stuff on top and it's going to have a drawer to put you know cables and slides and all that kind of stuff if, if any musicians like me the bane of our existence is cables extension cords uh, cables to your guitar and everything you, you're going to trip on them and you're going to trip on I've seen people trip on them and pull amps off the shelves and everything, but uh, that's, I got a few odds and odd and ends, I'm going to put a doggy door in my door so my dog can come in and out, uh, I got a jig I got to build for the table saw to join, ed join edges on wood so I don't have to buy a joiner, um, but after that the project's going to be making the, uh, the thing for the for the guitar amps and everything. So that, that'll that probably get started. Like I say, I'm going to do yard work more and run a water line down here. So uh, probably tomorrow evening or Sunday evening I'll get started on the, uh, the guitar amp thing. I got plywood already. Bought a sheet of plywood. I'm just going to make it out of plywood and paint it black match all the amps and stuff so this should turn out good if I don't screw up on my diagram like I did with the bandsaw thing but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and uh, look look forward to building something for you guys and uh, like I said if if you guys like this stuff and like watching I will do a, a Google Hangout and and this will be live and you can I have it running through the speaker so you can, I'll be over there working or something. You can ask questions and I'll have the webcam on and answer your questions. So uh, thanks for watching and be ready for the next video.